Wrangler, Jake Robinson from the Blue Lock team. Uh, we are here again and uh, wanted to talk a little bit about kind of one of the more controversial issues in cloud computing. And that is the idea of, hey, uh, cloud computing is sort of like outsourcing IT. Uh, outsourcing kind of equals uh, goodbye, you know, salaried position. So yeah. uh, the title of today's Whiteboard Wednesday is Goodbye IT Guy or Girl. <laughs> But, you know, wanted, you to be, that wanted to be PC with that. <laughs> I was feeling a little Dr. Seuss this morning, so I thought I would, uh, All right. would come up with a clever title. So, clever or not, that's the title of today's Whiteboard Wednesday. And uh, we wanted to talk a little bit about, uh, you know, some of the areas that IT is going, how the IT um, guy or girl in kind of this uh, new era of cloud computing, because it's obvious cloud computing mm -hmm makes business more efficient, it makes IT more efficient, mm -hmm. and allows companies to be uh, more agile in the marketplace. Right. So in order for people to, for companies to compete, they need to adopt cloud computing. But uh, how, you know, how right now are IT people, uh, I guess, using their time and using their talent to help uh, optimize business processes? So I, I kind of outline these five bullet points, you know, thinking about, you know, in terms of a cloud, you need to be able to set up and manage the cloud, mm -hmm. which isn't always as easy as a lot of people think. Mm -hmm. uh, security in the cloud, so making sure that that cloud you know, is still secure. Mm -hmm. Contract management, so making sure that service level is you know, super high there. Mm -hmm. um, or you know, the service level is appropriate for the amount of money they have to spend or amount of risk they're willing to take on. Performance, making sure the app actually performs in a cloud environment on whatever platform or infrastructure it's, it's lying on. And then, you know, control, who controls the data, right? You need smart IT people right. telling you, you know, who's in charge of the data and how much risk you're willing to take on. It plays back into the contract management. Right, and I, you know, there's no, there's no doubt in my mind that there is definitely a shift going on. Okay. And whether or not that shift is good depends on the individual, so, you know, in the in the IT world, the IT professional is constantly learning new things. So the the first recommendation I would make to any IT professional watching right now is get out there and educate yourself on on cloud products. So in the end, it's going to help the business, and they're going to keep you on. You know, mm -hmm. if you're if you're making a, a good consultation uh, move for your business, you know there there's no way they're not going to you know keep you as an asset. But, right. you know, so education, number one, get out there, learn the stuff, um, know what you can do. Yeah. I'll write that uh, over here. Actually, if you want to switch my spot. Sure. Education. This is the first time we've ever switched spots on camera. Uh, I think it worked out all right. <laughs> okay. Education. Uh, the second thing is, you know, it really... You know, there's going to be a, a skill set shift. So, if you're an infrastructure guy right now, uh, and your company is is going with a software as a service, you know, basically your infrastructure's being outsourced, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, you'll need to get out there again, educate yourself on, you know, new software as a service type stuff. But there's always going to be there's always going to be this stuff. So, so maybe getting out and actually playing with some of the tools. Absolutely. So not only educating yourself, but but trying some of the tools. Right. So so try it would maybe be step two. The other thing is with, you know, we've we've talked about our our stack, our cloud computing stack in the past. And you know, we've got the infrastructure as a service, we've got the platform as a service, we've got the software as a service. On that infrastructure as a service level, you know, they're you're you're out basically outsourcing your data center. So there's always going to be a need for that uh, IT professional on every level. So software, platform, application, infrastructure, you know, you're, you're going to have to have talented people in those areas in order to handle that lowest level of cloud computing. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. So, so I guess um, one of the things that we could cover is you know, how you stay educated. I have my sort of uh, techniques of getting educated. I wouldn't call myself necessarily an IT guy, but um, I do like to stay informed on what's going on in the cloud, what, you know, whether that's at the infrastructure platform or software level. Mm -hmm. Now, I think maybe that could be a, a great Whiteboard Wednesday. We could go through 
all the ways we stay up on uh, yeah. the latest and greatest cloud technology. That sounds great. All right, cool. cool. Are there any other things you wanted to talk about in terms of, you know, staying um, on top of things in the technology world as, as the cloud is going? So how someone could, pro I guess, position themselves professionally? Right. Um, you know, educate yourself, try it are the biggest things. Yeah. Um, but definitely, definitely always keep a, you know a use case for for your business with cloud computing. Yeah. Um, you know it's gonna it's gonna free up your time to to manage you know more important things. So you know stuff like security. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, another probably a big thing is you know once you have this education and this training, you've developed some expertise there. Mm -hmm. I think you probably communicate communicating that expertise to the organization so they understand that. Um, you know, not all organizations maybe necessarily uh, know that they need to still have the people that understand the cloud and know how to use it uh, effectively and have that background in IT. Right. So, so communicating, um, there's, there are two M's in communicate, that U is going to become an M. Yeah, with, I mean, with the education and the communication, maybe, maybe there are certain cases where cloud computing isn't going to work for your for your business, you know there are, there are certain cases where that just like phone just systems. doesn't work. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. I'm not saying you know go educate yourself on phone systems so you don't lose your job. I'm just saying yeah, you know, that's one. That's just one of those things. So there's always going to be the need for for an IT professional. Uh, I would say you know just as a general uh, recommendation, always you know always expand your your expertise as as much as possible and. You know, the, most IT professionals that are really into it, the geek, I would say, yeah. love to learn, and I don't think they're going to have a problem at all. So, Well, great. I think this has been uh, pretty informative. I appreciate your perspective on it, and uh, I'm glad we got to cover these points. Uh, if you have questions or have ideas or want to suggest to us how maybe you stay on top of uh, cloud technologies and everything going on in the IT world, Feel free to hit us up in the comments uh, or hit us up on Twitter, uh, which is uh, twitter.com slash bluelock. And uh, we'll see you next time for a good Whiteboard Wednesday session on how to stay up on cloud knowledge. Cool.